Hi everybody, Jordan Steele 88 with another video. Title of this video, the Pittsburgh Penguins Weekly Recap. So let's get into it. Starting with the, our, the Pittsburgh Penguins opponent, the Florida Panthers on last Wednesday. The Penguins lose to the Florida Panthers 5-2. And of course, it's been going on all season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, the penalty kill, I mean the power play, excuse me. The penalty kill has been fine all season for the Pittsburgh Penguins, but the penalty kill has been horrific for the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's like I said, there are too many passes and all that. I mean, I mean, it's times they get good looks, but they're just not scoring on power plays. I mean, they're, they're in, the, in the Florida Panthers game, they went 0 for 4 on the power play. And for the Florida Panthers, they played... They play a pretty good game against the Penguins because they got like five goals in their, as for their power play, they went one for two. And like I said before, for the Penguins power play, it's been horrific all year. Over for in the Florida Panthers game. So, so the goals in that game were by John Ludwig and Agali Malk. Oh, John Ludwig and Ryan Russ. Ryan Russ had a goal in the second period. And John Ludwig had a goal in the third period. I mean, Florida just played a, a real running game. So, and for the for the um, players' stats for the Penguins, Lawless Erler got a point that was an assist. Jay Genso got a point that was an assist. John Lug Ludwig got a point that was a, a goal. Joe O'Connell got a go got a point that was an assist. Chad Wigo got a point that was an assist. Ryan Russ got a point that was a goal. And the goalie for that game was Tristan Jari. He allowed five, five goals. 23, 23 saves. Save percentage was 70, 78%. Total ice time was 59 minutes and 58 seconds. So, so that's a Florida Panthers game. Let's move on to the Chicago Blackhawks game on the road. Penguins won that one four to one. Brilliant game for the Pittsburgh Penguins. If I say Penguins correctly, the power play was stuck. So, well, they only went with power play one time, all from one. Got to get better on that. But they played a pretty good game on that game. It was all. It was a great. It was a nice all round performance by this Pittsburgh hockey team against the the, the Chicago Blackhawks. The goals were by Sidney Crosby, Riley Smith in the first period. The third period goals to close it out. The close out the game by Sidney Crosby got his second and Brian Rust. And the penalties we only got two of them: McCollum Wright cross checking and Richard Raquel for holding. So. And um, the player stats for that game. Sidney Crosby got two points. That was a, those two goals. Chris Latane got a point. That was an assist. Drew O'Connor got a, got a point. That was an assist. Marcus Pedersen got a got two points. That was two assists. Rashad Raquel got two points. That was two assists. Ryan Russ got a uh, goal. Uh, point that was a goal. Riley Smith got a point. That was a goal. Going for that for that night was Alex N N Djokovic, if I say his name right. He only got he only like one goal, twenty eight he had twenty eight saves, save percentage, ninety six percent, total ice time, fifty nine minutes and fifty nine seconds, almost a total almost a full sixty minutes a total ice time. So yeah. Because um, Pittsburgh Penguins on that game got four minutes of, of total penalty minutes. So, yeah. So that's the Chicago Blackhawks game. Now we're going to move on to yesterday's game where they honored um, Yarmir Yager against the against the um, Los Angeles Kings. Penguins lose that game two to one. And once again, the power plays are the whole river power plays are coming to play for the Pittsburgh Penguins this season. Just gotta get buried on those. 
one for five in that game. That was essentially Crosby um goal. So I mean the all the execution has been horrible for the past three games for the Pittsburgh Penguins overall. I mean the, the education execution has been terrible. I mean they don't they don't get enough it's like they don't get enough ice time in, in, in their zone in their opponent's zone. I mean and like I said about what with the power plays, I know I've seen this over and over. They just gotta get better at those, man, because we're coming to a end of portion of the season, which is two months away. So we just gotta get it together. Get that gotta get that power play together. And we know we're close to a playoff spot because they got we got a long way to go before when we go towards when it comes to playoffs. So anyway, on yes, because last night they they are um Penguins legend Yarmir Yager. Who uh, who's a two time Stanley Cup champion, won back to back with Mary Romalou. So, but anyway, about this game though, in a in a third period, it was all LA Kings in the third period by the same person, Adrian Kempe, if I say his name right. And they gave it a shorthanded goal. I mean, Penguins' execution has been terrible almost all season, especially on the power play, like I keep saying over and over, over and over. So yeah, but the only goal came from Sidney Crosby in that game. That's the only goal. That was a power play goal. And the penalties were by pretty much Ryan Smith tripping, Chris Latane holding, Sidney Crosby hooking. That's a total of that's a total of six minutes of penalty time. And let's take the stats in this in this um in that game from last night against the Kings. Sidney Crosby got a point. That was a goal. Power play, by the way. Eric Eric Carlson got a point that was an assist. And Ryan Russ got a point that was an assist. The goal for for last night, Tristan Jar, he got two goals, 33 saves, and save percentage, 93 percent total ice time, 50, 57 minutes and 22 seconds. So this week the Penguins went one one and two. So yeah, gotta fix that power play for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Got gotta improve that power play come Tuesday when they play against the Islanders. So, yeah. So yeah, they got they got to get, get their power play together. That's what's been affecting the Penguins is terrible power play. So, so let me know what you think down in the comment section below, Penguins fans, or NHL fans. So, so that'll do it for this video. This is Jordan Steel eighty eight. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content and other sports content on my channel. See you guys in the next video, and as always, let's go Pins!